I'm out here now. Decided to go out and find some geocaches on this Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm coming here to try to find a DNF that I had a couple weeks ago. Um, I think I was looking in the wrong spot, but I think I've got the right spot now. So if I find it, I'll get back to you guys. I searched and searched and searched again and still came up empty-handed. Um, the person who placed this geocache said that they just replaced it recently and that it's easier to spot but harder to find. So I went and tried to find it and I still couldn't find it, no look. Searched for probably 30 minutes, which is crazy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can go find another DNF that I didn't find last week but should be able to find this week because somebody just found it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and go do. So I actually just decided to come down here to this place not too far from our house called um, Quarry Place and it's actually an old quarry that they filled with water and there's like six geocaches hidden around the perimeter of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go find those and show you this view real quick. It's beautiful out here. can't believe I've never been out here before. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful guys? Now I'm here at ground zero for the geocache. Gonna go ahead and see if I can find it. But I just wanna show you guys this view again. I'm up higher. It's just, it's breathtaking. It's, it's beautiful. Can't believe I've never been over here before. Like I said before, this is, this is just beautiful out here. Okay guys, I've located the geocache. It's right here in my hand. It was just a little camoed pill bottle. Um, it was pretty neat and I'm gonna go ahead and sign the log, place it back where it belongs and go ahead and go find five more around this quarry. I have located the next geocache. It's right here, two down, four more to go. Gonna get ready, sign the log and go ahead and go find those other ones. I'm out here walking. Um, I'm almost to the location of the next one. Just decided to turn on the camera and videotape a little bit more. Um, after I find these, I'm probably going to head home for dinner. After dinner, not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll probably go ahead and get up early tomorrow. I don't have anything to do tomorrow because I'm off work. Probably go ahead and head out and do some geocaching early in the morning while it's nice and cool out before it gets too hot because it's, it's pretty hot out right now. I'm sweating like crazy. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm just about here at this geocache. So I'm going to go ahead and stop filming and try to locate it. I've located this geocache now right here. This took me a lot longer than I should have. It was very, very obvious, just right out in the open, and I couldn't find it. But anyways, I've found three so far, three more to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign the log and head out and go find the other ones. Okay, I finally located this um, fourth one. It's a super teeny, tiny nano cache. So, um, that was interesting. This one took me a lot longer than um, expected, but I'm gonna sign the log, put it back, go find the last two. Okay, I just attempted, I think it was number four or five, but I didn't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue down the trail, see if I can find the other one. Okay guys, I found the last geocache. I located it rather quickly after I left the spot of the other one. I signed the log and now I'm on my way back to my car gonna get ready to go home now my car is right up there um, once I head home I'll probably you know eat dinner do the usual stuff and then get ready to head out tomorrow morning maybe go find a couple more I'm at 39 geocaches right now so tomorrow I'll probably go find my 40th geocache which is gonna be fun so we'll see you tomorrow good morning everyone I'm getting ready to head out now go climb in my car and head to the gas station fill up my car with gas and head out to go do some geocaching this morning. It's nice and warm out, so it's gonna be a perfect day for geocaching. Now I'm over here, stopped to um, get some air in my tires real quick. Just finished filling up with gas, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then we'll be on our way. Well, attempt to get air anyways. Their air pump is missing a part and looks like somebody stole it. So just gonna have to climb back in the car and just be on my way for now, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm here at Chick-fil-A. I'm going to run through the drive through real quick and get a um, bite to eat. Um, I keep on saying we'll be on our way, but after this, after I grab a bite to eat, we're going to go ahead and go find, I think it's like the third oldest geocache in Maryland, but I'm going to find a couple more. I think I'm going to find like about seven down where I'm going, 
um, if I locate them all. Um, I want to try to find 11 today, that would be great because then that would put me at 50 geocaches, which is pretty exciting. The first spot, I already found the first geocache, it's right here down below me. I'm gonna go ahead and sign the log. Um, there's another one right over by this little ball field I met that I'm gonna head over to the main place I'm going today and go find a couple over there. I'm just gonna show you this geocache real quick. Right here, it's got a couple things in it, you know, just the usual small geocache. So yeah. Okay, now I'm headed down towards this next one. Funny thing is, why I never really film me walking to the geocache that much is because I need my phone to locate them. And I'm filming on my phone, which hopefully isn't going to be the reason for too much longer. I want to try to go get a better camera because, like I've said in my videos, um, the audio has sync issues and it's just weird and kind of crazy to mess with. So I want to get myself a better laptop and camera and editing software and start doing it on a computer. That's going to work a little better. Okay, so I found this geocache. It was actually pretty interesting. Little find, pretty small geocache. It was actually this thing right here. It's actually dug out. It's got a hole in the end. And they had the geocache in there. I hope you can see that. But, um, I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of neat. But, um, yeah. Gonna go ahead, sign the log, and head over to the other place where I'm gonna go find the third oldest geocache in America. In, not in America, in Maryland. <laughs> okay guys, so now I'm over here at Oregon Ridge Park. Just located the first geocache already. Gonna um, show you where it is real quick. This is actually pretty neat. Somebody said they searched around this, like, um, it's a music stage, like, three times and couldn't find it. I come over here, look a couple minutes, and find it right away. It's sitting right here. Right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out, sign the log, and then be up my way up the trail to go find a couple more. Okay, so now I'm headed off to find another one just left from the other position I was at, just walking up the hill. Um, it's actually really nice out here. This is the first time I've been out here also. Like, I can't believe I haven't been out here. I've passed by it so many times. But I mean, it's open to the public, completely free to get in, so it's pretty neat. But I'm gonna let you guys go and go find this geocache. Found it! Right here, in my hand, gonna go ahead and sign the log. This one was interesting. I walked through a spider web to get it. There was a spider on me, it was like, eh, nasty. Um, so I had to get the spider off of me. I just found it, gonna go ahead and sign the log. Like I always say, just head off to go find a couple more. So I'm at ground zero now, sweating like crazy. I'm gonna go ahead, and put down the camera real quick, see if I can locate this one. Okay, so the geocache I was just trying to find was a DNF. I searched for a good like 15 minutes and I still couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna head up the hill further, go find the couple that are up there. Maybe try this one again when I come back down, um, but I'm not sure. But that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm just gonna sit here, take a water break and relax for a minute. Okay, I finally made it up the hill. Had to stop and take like a 15 minute break. Once I got up and decided to start looking, found this one pretty much right away. I found it just now. I'm gonna go ahead and sign the log and head further up the hill, up that way. It's a long walk up there to go find the last one up there and then maybe head to another location and find a couple more. So we'll finally locate a trail. I'm walking down the trail now, getting ready to find this geocache. It's the third oldest geocache in Maryland, I think. It's one of the oldest geocaches in Maryland anyways, and um, mosquitoes will not leave me alone. But um, I finally found the trail, like I said. It's a lot easier walking than walking up that hill. Walking up that hill was horrifyingly hard. I don't know why, but it was steep and just not fun. So I'm gonna continue down this trail um, until I find the geocache. And when I do, I'll go ahead and um, videotape that. Okay guys, I'm back again. I'm still out here walking down this trail trying to go find this geocache. And we, I finally came up along the little stream. It's a nice little stream, so I wanted to show you guys real quick what it looks like. It's, it's beautiful out here today. Like, it's a lot better once I got back under here under the shade. When I was out in the sun, it was like death, so it was crazy. But here you go. Isn't that just beautiful, guys? Like, it's really nice out here. Yep. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. 
Okay guys, I found a nice little bench to sit here and take a break um, by the stream before I get going again. This is a pretty long hike and I'm kind of worn out now, but um, hopefully I'll make it to the geocache soon. We can make this fine and get back to the car, head to another location. Found another neat little sitting spot. It's like a pond here and it's just, it's neat too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Then I'll be on my way. Isn't that neat? Yep. Hey guys, I have finally made it to ground zero and have located this cache. I had to um, walk 650 feet bushwhacking off the trail just to get to it. But I made it here finally. I'm going to get it, sign the log, head back to the car and head out. Because I am worn out now. So, But it was a fun adventure today. I might find a couple more later this afternoon. A couple more closer to home, just easy ones. So we'll see what happens, and he'll head to the car right now. I cannot wait to climb in my car and turn on the AC because I am dying. I am soaked from head to toe in sweat. I can't wait to get home and get a shower. Yeah, this was a fun experience, but very tiring. Like, this was crazy. So next time, maybe I'll come back with one of my siblings or something, try to find the one I didn't find today. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys when I was at that last geocache, I actually found a trackable and I decided to retrieve it and move it on to another geocache a little closer to um, its journey. It's trying to make it to Key West, but um, yeah, it's in my hand now. It's a little devil ducky. I don't really like that, but I'm um, still going to go ahead and move it over here to my geocache and check up on it, make sure my geocache is doing okay and all that stuff. And then I'm going to head on home and get cleaned up. Okay, here at my geocache now. I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here, log it online, and then I'm done for the day. So right here, here it is. I'm um, gonna pop it open. You know, this is the first, like the second time I've checked on this since I've been out here. Seems like everything's dry. Feels damp inside, but I think it's just cold. So yep, there it goes, right in there. Okay guys, so I'm all cleaned up now here at home. It's gotten pretty late, so I'm going to get ready to go ahead and go edit the video and get it up before the night is out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.